So in my last video, Sherry, Norm, and I were riding on the Ionara Monogatari train through Shikoku. We got on at Matsuyama and we arrived here at Yawatahama. There's lots of neat things to see in this area, so today I'm going to show you guys around. Yawatahama is a port city located in the southwestern part of Ehime Prefecture. It's famous for having the largest fish market in the Shikoku region. We are at the Michinoeki called Minato in Yawatahama. And this is a really large Michinoeki roadside station. I love Michinoekis. There's always so much to see. You can try some of the local, like popular foods of each city when you go to them. And there's usually tourist information centers, washrooms, vending machines, um, all that kind of stuff that you need when you're going on a road trip. We decided to rent some electric bikes to ride around town. I think these are an awesome option if you want to see as many things as possible and you have a limited amount of time, especially if it's the summertime in Japan, which is very humid and hot, so having the nice breeze while you're riding is a bonus. All right, here we go. I got my electric bike turned on now, so now when I pedal, it gives me a boost of power. It's on medium power right now, but if I put it on max power, it's so easy to ride. Minimum effort, and I can go the speed that I'd be going if I was pedaling full blast, so it's pretty cool. I'm liking this electric bike. Stop number one was Wakamatsu Flag Shop, where they specialize in dyeing fabrics. The couple that works at the shop was so kind, they sat down with us and they explained all the techniques that they use for dyeing their fabrics. And it was really neat to find out that they are very committed to using the same traditional techniques that were used hundreds of years ago. それは仕事によって使い分けして無力んですよ。のりは、あの、持ち込めです。あの、のりにするんですよ。米ぬかをくっつけるんです。この We were starting to get hungry, so we stopped by Miyagawa Sweets Shop, which is a traditional Japanese sweets shop. They have lots of really colorful and beautifully designed sweets, but this one is their signature sweet, the Usukawa Manju. I was attracted to the pink colored warabi mochi, so that's what I went with, and I was not disappointed. These were so freaking delicious, guys. I really recommend them. It was time to return our bikes, so we decided to do a little souvenir shopping in the market. Wow, those are some cheap nasu. They're and they're huge. Oh my god, that's a great price. Look at these jellies that they're selling here. This one has a full mandarin orange in it. This one has a full tomato. That I... why? is famous for mikan, so you will see lots of fresh mikan juices. They sell the usual souvenirs like keychains, postcards, magnets, but what I thought was really cool is they had this small corner of the store where they were selling handmade crafts. Crafts that the locals had made and they brought to the shop to sell, and there are lots of really original things there. Lots of local items, hand-woven slippers, lots of really pretty and super Japanese stuff that would make a great souvenir. One of my favorite memories from Yawatahama was one of the guys who was working at the shop came up and gave us these. They're handmade out of this grass. Are these not the most amazing thing ever? I was holding them walking through the station and this lady thought they were real bugs and like jumped back. <laughs> it was pretty funny. It's time to end our lovely day in Yawatahama. If you guys would like to see more videos from our trip, I will link my friends Sherry and Norm down below. If you enjoy these travel videos, please give me a thumbs up to let me know. And I'm going to leave you guys with this beautiful view from our train. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!